Well, next in our interviews, people standing for the House of Keys, we have from uh, Douglas North, Ralph Peake. And uh, as always, with people who've been sitting, it's nice to start with uh, you know, your accomplishments, where you come from, what's going on, and do you think you've, you've made a difference, I well, suppose? Uh, it's been a very challenging five years, hasn't it? You know, it starts out with so much hope, and we've had a, a difficult run in uh, to the end of the administration. But yeah, I've served my time in Treasury. It's been a great team effort in Treasury. I've been lucky enough to be have social I have Social Security as my political responsibility as well as Customs and Excise, so I've been able to look at sort of if you like two sides of that society. Mm. That's the income as well as the uh, helping people in society through benefits. And and you stayed where you have been, really. So nothing yeah. nothing changed then. Yeah, I suppose the pandemic has put pressure, I suppose, on your department more than anything. Yeah, I think you're right actually because we've actually worked well together, and mm. I think that's been recognised by the Treasury Minister, and I think that team has really galvanised and really helped with some big decisions throughout that pandemic period. So it really was a great apprenticeship, if you like, to actually make those big decisions throughout that pandemic period. Well, let's, let's talk about your, your work in the House then. I mean, what are your accomplishments? Yeah, what's the big thing you'd say you, you've, you've done, one or two things? Well, I think one of the things that I'm very proud of is that I've brought 105 motions through Timworld. So it's one of those things that working with Social Security and Customs Exercise, you have the opportunity of working with the officers and bringing those motions through Timwald. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm quite proud of that, it, all the work that goes on behind the scenes and bringing those motions through Timwald is a great honour. You're so sort of lowish level, you get on with things, sort of thing. I'm just trying to you know, give the feel you, you're not one for Absolutely. You, I brought, yelling and jumping around. That's yeah. right, I brought an act through uh, House of Keys, one of the first things I did in this administration, the Treasury uh, Bill, and then as I say 105 motions for for the Treasury, for um, Social Security and... So, you're on the doorstep? Yep. What's the sort of big thing you're telling them, first of all, and I want to know uh, what they're telling you, but what, yeah, well, what, how are you selling yourself at the moment? Yeah. It's actually one of the parts I really love, actually. Yeah, right. You know, I love talking to people and I love listening to people, so it's a great opportunity to engage with that. I've kept in touch with the community throughout this, this period, working with Wilson um, Community Association, trying to listen to their issues and help them with that, and also, Many members contact me directly via email. And but what are you saying to them on the doorstep? What do you say? I'm Ralph Peake. I'm here to say I'm going to do X, Y, or Z. Is there any particular thing that lifts you out of what everyone else is saying? Really? Okay, so one of the things that I believe I'm very strong on is is working with local businesses. So it's that right. working together. It's easy to say you're going to work together, but actually to demonstrate how you can listen mm. to the concerns of local business and how we can actually have a community and an economy that works strongly together. And I think that's something that is overlooked. So having that opportunity being in Treasury allows you to see the landscape of government. And I really believe that government can do more to actually work with the local community. And with the COVID situation, there were some gaps. There were people falling through some of these holes. You know, we what were you going on behind the scenes? Were you trying to sort that out? Or? You're absolutely right. And the were, Paul. You're absolutely right. We didn't you know, get it right in every instance. But what, in my position, I was able to do was actually to take those calls, to take those um, communications, and actually go directly to the Social Security and, and actually work that out for them. There were some gaps. What we were able to improve on the offerings mm -hmm. we had to support people throughout that pandemic. I think the idea at the start was to really enable people to have the cash in their pocket to, to cover their basic needs and it was just basic needs I appreciate that but we were able to do that very quickly okay. over that first weekend that really set the tone then for the if you like right. the whole year really and we were able to improve that as it went on and local politics what's what's the big thing in, you, in your area well what I think we should do is working closer with the local authorities. So in our case, in Douglas North, that's working close with Douglas Borough Council. If we can actually hasn't been the most successful no, relationship, with it. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I think you can. Everyone tries that one. I don't know where it falls down, but I think you can mend some bridges or whatever. I, absolutely. If it's not, I don't know whose fault it is. But no, I think that's the point: is actually getting to meet those people, getting to meet the new um, constituents, whoever they're, whoever they're mm -hmm. going to actually be returned in the local authority elections in, in July and actually work close with them right from the start. I think that's a great opportunity now because we've got the same boundaries for the councillors as well as for the MHKs and there's an opportunity then to actually get the local authority issues directed with those councillors and actually give the constituency national politicians as well as local politicians and I think there's a great future in that. So I'll be really working closely with whoever's returned in July. Right. Well, you've done your time, done a full term and, and the, 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 the... That's right, 15 months on the months, by-election yeah. before, yeah. So now great. you're ready, obviously, to, to move up to the plate. I'm, I'm gathering, you, I'm, I'm taking that as read that you'd like to be inside that Coman area. 
Well, I, I've really enjoyed my time in Treasury and working very closely. Don't fob me off. I'll tell everyone. No, I want to. I want to answer it's, this. It's you want to do it or not? Do you want to be a minister? Absolutely, I'll be happy to right. stand and, and and do that. Well, it's not. A, it's about who's actually chief minister. What do you, isn't it? Okay. Well, what you have oh, to do. Oh, okay. Let's, let's yeah. do it first. Chief minister. Well, you went for Alf Cannon last time. He's been your boss for the last five years. You, That's you just right. said you're getting on and very I'm well. Getting on very well with him. Yeah. So absolutely. Do you see Alf getting the job? I, you. I, I, yeah. Oh, you'll be you'll be in the favourite book, won't it's, you? But it's one of the, you've got to get returned. Obviously, that's what you've got oh, yeah. to do. You've got to get returned by the people. If the people actually want you in that position, yes, you've so got to get returned for that. So, so you then, then you actually choose your chief minister from the twenty-four people who have been returned. Indeed, and, and, and so anything one, can happen. I appreciate it's one that. step at a time, and we should Absolutely. never account for anything of that. I'm yep. just going that potentially this could be the situation. So if Meg gets in, you get back in. He's ready to give you whatever you almost want, probably, isn't he? What do you I want? I don't think that's the way it works, isn't it? Well, what I have been able to do over the last five years is actually take my, my passion, if you like, um, for the environment. And I've been able to work with you see, the it's interesting that, board. Because you're a businessman as well. So I, I think I said Department for Enterprise. Well, as you perhaps remember, one of those great strengths in the business that I ran for 25 years before was that we were very, very focused and very keen on energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So I was able to take all that knowledge and experience that I had in business yeah. and actually bring that to the political sphere to actually work with the office. So when I was in DEFA on the last administration, yeah. I was able to bring through at the time climate change mitigation strategies. So it's really one of those things so that DEFA you can, you can would be really your best fit. You think? It, well, it's. It's up to the chief minister. I understand, but people but know what you want to do. Absolutely, was one of my passions is the climate yeah. and how we can actually bring about energy without emissions and how we can work together. Easy saying working together, but I passionately believe that the government really wants to work more closely with yeah. business. Yeah. And we together, as Professor Curran says, not one side can do it by itself. Private, public partnership will have a energy future that will deliver not only jobs, yes. we estimate between 600 and 1,000 jobs could be created with this new sector and actually have renewable energy which will deliver affordable energy to people in their, in their homes. How have you dealt with government over the, these five years? I mean, have you rolled your eyes a few times at some of the decision making, some of the ineptitude maybe that some ministers have shown on I, certain things? I, I wouldn't I'm trying to be politish, but yeah. you know what I'm trying to get to here. Yeah. How do you see yourself, a rebel or in with the boys? Or <laughs> no, well, it, it does actually take, I believe, a different way of work. And, and there is work, you've heard the single legal entity, but there's actually some work around that and they're, they're looking to rename that as, as, a, as a single public service. Mm -hmm. And I think that's right, really. I think government wants to be smaller and more focused. Yeah. Absolutely. And what Good happens then, that. well, I appreciate that, that's not easy. But when I say smaller, it wants to be more focused and with that will come the efficiencies. But it has to then allow private sector and third sector as well to actually take some of that responsibility. Government can't do everything. And I, what I've seen about the frustrations is when you actually try and get involved in everything as government uh, can do, it then just slows things down. It makes it more bureaucratic. Mm -hmm. It really wants to get out of the way. I've said this a few times in Timwald. Government really needs to step so, out of the way a number you, of times, okay. and then we can actually let experts, private sector and third sector, pick up some of that weight and yeah. work together. When you see the prom, for instance, I mean, how would you, will you come from that in a different way or is this just the way it, it is in the other man for uh, these jobs? It's, it's, it's tricky. It's easy to sit here now and, and, and identify I, some course, problems course, because, oh, I'd have done something differently. But at the time, you've got to make the decisions yourself. So it's trying to support that. Isn't that a classic case of things could be done a lot better? Maybe? Things could be done a lot I mean, better. you know, we've had some blips and I don't want to yeah. harp on that thing, but no. it is Douglas and it's one of those things that people look at the government and probably make an overview it, of how they, they're doing. It is, but rather than sort of focusing on, if you like, the negatives there, yeah. And, I, and the government has done this now, so every large project over £3 million is going to be dealt with yeah. by an expert central. Okay. Group. Just to finish and that, that's the right, right. thing to do. You, you have a lot of other things that are going on. We, we, we see with Queen. Absolutely. Um, there's other ones as well, aren't they? And again, it fits in with my philosophy around government being smaller, if you yeah. like, and working together because things can be done outside you're government. you're almost a green, aren't you? Because you do a lot of things on that, but you don't yeah. understand the green ticket. Well, well no, we, so we've got a... You see something green. I, I, I do, um, sympathetic, because yeah. we've got an energy and sustainability centre, which I'm working with Dr. Dave Quirk, and so that is about educating and helping people to understand what the future is and how we can benefit from our immense natural resources here in the Alaman, we're surrounded by natural resources. If we can monetize that and turn that into a net export, 
you know, that can raise like 100 million pounds a year rather than being shackled to the UK and actually importing energy, which I don't agree with. Oh. We should be generating it and, and exporting it. That's, Fine. that's, a, that's a new sector. Okay, Fine. have right. you enjoyed it? I have, absolutely. Are you looking forward to it? I really am because I really think now the, my knowledge and experience oh. I can really put to good use. Does that make you a career politician? Uh, no, it doesn't make me a career <laughs> politician. It may, means that I think I'm well placed now to use the experience I've got for the next five years, absolutely.